Yeah, you know what it is. <laughs> hey, 2021, they haven't gave you the other one over there in Mexico. So yeah. we just gonna say it's 21 and up. You know what I'm saying? That's the real record, 21 and that's up. The, that's the real knockout. record until they decide to give it to you. Yeah. So, you know, before the fight, they had a situation with the gloves, man. Do you feel that was a lack of confidence? You know, they were just trying to. I mean, he, he was trying to come up with something. That's how, that's how we try to come up with something. But, you know, if you hit hard, you hit hard. I'm not worried about none of that. I can fight us on pillows and you still going to sleep. Man, people was talking about your cardio in there, man. Like, you wasn't even breathing. But yet, you was fighting at a high pace. Look you know, my train. what do you credit, <laughs> credit that to? I, I, I know your dad, right I know your dad. I remember your pop saying that, Javante, if you want to hurt me, you know, hurt me through my son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I remember he said that. What do you mean by that, pop? Oh, because that's how you get to me. If you want to get to me, you hurt my son. But you ain't gonna hurt, well, I ain't say you ain't gonna hurt my son, because anything can happen, so I never say that in boxing. Yeah. But if you wanna hurt me, then take it to my boy, because this, you know, I can't I can't see it happen. You hurt, you hurt, you gonna touch the soft part of my heart. You feel what I'm saying? So if you wanna get to me, you go through one yeah, of my, you go through one, yet. you go through one of my seeds. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? I ain't gonna say just him, you go through one of my seeds. So if you in the ring, then that's gonna be him. Now I appreciate what, you, what you're doing, senior, with your son. You want the father-son tandems, black fathers and sons that's in the sport of boxing for quite some time and you're having such incredible success man so you know how do you prepare each and every time to outdo what he just did he just came off tv from a stoppage and then he come out here and get a stoppage you know what the conversation you have with brian sometime it's been a conversation for over a decade i mean i've been molding his mind for over a decade in this day in day out he know what I expect. Something only need to be said. Our conversations have gotten a lot shorter because you know when he doesn't do what I expect, it's like really nothing for me to say because that's just how well he know. <laughs> I'm serious. That's how well he know my expectations. You know what I'm saying? He know he knows what I expect. He know what we work with is 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 cut and dry. It's certain things. And I heard you say, and uh, I think they interview after that sparring session that you can't see him getting beat. I honestly can't see him getting beat either. The only thing I can see beating him, which happens to any and everybody, is him getting caught. I can't see nobody skillfully beating him. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, he still hasn't even shown everything he could do today, which is a good thing. He showed his speed. He showed his, some of his agility. I know you saw the, the yeah. hand speed or whatever. Mm -hmm. You don't think you ever really seen his hand speed, have you? Other, I mean, I've seen him when the two days and on TV. No, that, and right, but it was a whole, different, that was yeah, a whole okay. different type of, that was a whole yeah. style of fight. You yeah. know what I mean? His opponent was different too, man. Ex See, you know what so I'm I, yeah, we talking. I got to and, change and, it up if I got to. And that's yeah. part of, and that's part of what what you just said a minute ago when you was leading to the question. It sounded like when you was asking how do we prepare? It's different opponents, different people, different styles, different everything. You, you know what I mean? Keep sharpening the skills. Just keep sharpening the skills on whoever it is, and you be ready for whatever it is. And he, I mean, he ready for whatever. He really, he really almost he just he self trained right now because he's just like on automatic. <laughs> Yeah, he, yeah, you're right. You know, he don't yeah, automatically he don't because automatic. he shut it down. He you doing your thing. You know, once the hands are wrapped, you over here. Brian doing his thing. Y'all don't link back don't. up until you start warming nah, up. Hey, hey, we right here. <laughs> yeah, we here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We here. We, we connect in the mind. Mm -hmm. He know what I expect. I don't have to sit there and badger and talk to him and plead he with been, him. He's been saying this for the long. Just bring me their head back. Bring me their head back. Yeah. They said to bring it back in the bag. He said, every time, <laughs> put his head in the bag and I want their head back. That's what it is, man. Hey, you know, with this opponent, and with this opponent, and with this opponent, uh, you know, it was a tough opponent, which is yep. always good to get some rounds in, you know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't good to just knock everybody out and, you know, not get their ring exposure, ring, you know, you know their ring experience, because, you know, when you see that's the rounds you go is, is, is experience. So, uh, but there's always more than one way to skin a cat. Yeah. And, and that's what we talk about, too. And I knew you could skin that cat. He just had to find a way to skin it. You've never know been I mean? stopped before, right? The it's guy, a I think a couple times, but he had not really. I thought they said um, he had fought some of the best, but 
honestly. He ain't never been stopped. I, I really honestly like didn't really check okay. that. So I really don't know. I can't I can't say honestly that I really looked at him like that. I so mean, my last question is he was a fallout opponent. The, the guy that he was supposed to fight, okay. he got terrified as a Thursday. I mean terrified. He called Sam Man <laughs> out. I'm serious. Two days before the fight. So this guy right here, you know, he's a veteran. He came, I think he was oh, he was getting ready to fight somebody else. Okay. He was getting ready to fight on another show, so he, he was ready to fight. But they pulled him in for this one, so. Matter of fact, put it like, like we were just saying, how you prepare for a fight. We were preparing to fight somebody that was 6'2". Right. And you see, this dude wow. was like 5'6", okay. 5'7". Five, five, yeah. So, if I got to switch it up, I can switch it up if I got to. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, them body shots, terrible. <laughs> that beautiful. That body, beautiful. That body work was just terrible, man. Beautiful. You, you should have heard it on the inside, right. though. After a while, like I said, with Tyrell Biz and Mike Tyson, he started making the girl sounds on the inside. Every time I, <laughs> there was no, yeah, there was no way, and that's why there's more than one way to skin the cat. That's what I'm saying. You just have to beat him. If you can't knock him out, because everybody can't get knocked out. Everybody ain't gonna, you know, especially you know, when you got right, especially when you got that kind of power. When you got that kind of power, uh, the body can, tend, you know, I'm gonna fight it myself. So the body can tend to get used to that power, and they can brace for that power. Still from, from, still from, from adrenaline, from adrenaline, you understand what I'm saying? So you find another way to stop him and make him mm -hmm. stop. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But there's a way. To, there's a way to get it done. You just gotta find it in, in the right amount of time. Listen, it got so bad that he he was holding the whole fight. It got so bad after a while. The ref, uh, the ref kept saying, "Stop holding." He literally said, "What you want me to do?" Yeah, I, I heard him scream something. Yeah, he, he did. He was like, yeah, I heard him scream something. Yeah. I didn't know what the hell he, he literally was screaming. screamed to the ref. <laughs> what you want me to do? I, I called him. Shut. <laughs> You were turning him, hitting yeah. him, turning him, hitting him. Yeah. No love. Yeah, no love. And I want to ask you though, um, you know, Senior has said that you won fight 140. Mm -hmm. You mentioned today you fight 140, so that's something y'all talked about. He gonna yeah. he gonna be back yeah. down to 140. Yeah. He, he good? Yeah, he gonna. Like, I mean, I made weight this one so yeah, he easy. drank some water. In fact, I was drinking water before the weight. Okay, that's what yeah, he he's walking, he walking up. Big, what you doing, man? Yeah, he's still made I'm cool to see. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's fine. That's what's up, man. We look forward to seeing you in any division close. 40, 47. Yes, it don't yeah. matter. It's still going to be an entertaining fight. Mm -hmm. You know, representing ATL there, um, Brian Norman, you know, 21 and 0 right now, doing your thing, another stoppage. What do you have to say to your fans down here in the ATL? Can I explain that 21 and 0? Yeah, go ahead. His record. I got the video online. He's on when YouTube. He was when he was on YouTube, when he was 13 and 0. They called one of them a no contest. He was in Mexico. I guess it was one of their guys. I don't know what that's about, but that's why you may get a. A difference in that 21 and 0 and 20 and 0. I just want to explain that why some people say 20 and 0 and some people say 21 and 0. He's actually officially 21 and 0. Well, ahead. I know on YouTube, I'm the only one saying one more than what you got. Yeah. Right. Because <laughs> I just heard it. I said, okay, that makes sense. All right, for yeah. sure. Yes, sir. What you got to say to your fans there, Assassin? Uh, you know, 21 and 0, man, doing your thing. It was a pleasure once again seeing you fight. You know, we got to say to your fans out there at uh, ATL. Thank y'all for all the support. You know, the normal team. We yeah. still here. We still shining. We still just wait for our time to get up to the top. I'm tired of saying it's still the beginning. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to get. I'm ready to get started. He can't be denied. One way or the other. Can't. He got to get his chance. Yep. As long as he stay healthy, he got to get his chance. You see his skills. Nobody, nobody anywhere that spawn whatever you want to call yeah. it. Nobody even comes close to actually beating him. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody even comes close. You can almost come to close to tying him. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about smart. Yeah. Nobody even comes close to beating him. Yeah. So he going to get his day. He going to get his day. He going to get his time. we just waiting on him. I agree, man. And, and look, I'm not even going to touch on him. We, we know who the truth. We're not going to bring up the sparring session. But we want him to be on TV. We don't want no more nonsense going on. So we're going to keep it like that, man. Once again, for World Combat Sports, salute my brother. And, and, and future and world champ, you know what I'm saying? And man, Pops, World keep Combat doing sports, your thing. Man. World Combat Sports, man. Check them out, man. I appreciate all the sports, guys. Thank no you. doubt. Salute.